How are we doing, TVC Nation? I'm your online host, Justin Holbrock, and joining me on the desk is Meg's reporter, Marissa Salopek. Now, Marissa, I heard Meg's lost a tight one tonight, 50 to 45 to Wellston, and these teams were actually tied at halftime, but Wellston was able to fight this one away from Meg's, and it seemed like they just dominated the second half. Well, Justin, both teams came in tonight looking to improve their losing records. Wellston 4-8 and eight, and Megs was 6-8. and eight. And from the beginning, the Lady Marauders looked strong offensively. They looked like they were going to be able to pull this one away. They were getting open shots, sinking their free throws. That was a big thing. And their offensive rebounds, getting them and putting them back up or getting fouled and making their free throws. That is what kept them ahead in the first half. Maddie Hendricks was the leading scorer for the Lady Marauders with 12 points and Wellston never led in the first half, but that would not be enough for the Marauders as the game goes into halftime and it's all tied up. The second half was a different story. So it seemed like Megs had a really solid first half, but in the third quarter, Lexi Hopkins exploded and she really started out with a bang. Oh, it must have been something in the water for Lexi Hopkins at halftime. She came out exploding three three-pointers. She had 32 on the night. That would put the Rockets ahead in the third quarter, and this is what would keep their momentum going into the whole second half. Wow, so 32 points from her, great game, but it was really close in the fourth quarter, and it seemed like Megs was gonna pull this one out, but Wilson just kept fighting, and they held him off, didn't they, Marissa? Wilson broke down Megs offensively. They didn't score for the first four minutes in the fourth quarter. That is huge, and it was another three by Lexi Hopkins late in the fourth quarter that would seal the deal for Wilson, 50 to 45. Great win from Wilson. It was a huge game, and the bottom of the TVC Ohio, but we'll see if these teams can get better as the season goes on. And don't forget to go to woub.org slash heroes. Check us out. Our next show is on Sunday night. In the meantime, don't forget, we're also on Snapchat. Now, thanks, Marissa, for the great work tonight. For Marissa Salopek, I'm Justin Holbrock, reminding you to be heroic.